there's so much interruptions in this video. I'm sorry, okay? I want to do my Sims collection already. <laughs> I have done this take so many times, 14 times in a row of me either messing up or some type of interruption. It's like back and forth, so I would try to be happy for this. <laughs> um, so I want to talk about my Sims collection. Now, I haven't been a fan of The Sims since 2004. Okay, right now I have people's court in the background because, you know, family members, they want to watch that, so. <laughs> Anyways, I would feel weird doing a video with just silence in it. I don't know. Maybe because I'm not so used to that, you know, silence <laughs> ever. But anyways, I have been a fan of The Sims since 2004. You know, I went over to my cousin's house. They were playing The Sims. I felt encouraged and inspired to play the game. So I was like, I want to play that. You know, I remember back then when it first came out in 2000. You know, people. <laughs> Anyways, um, when it first came out in 2000, I thought it looked confusing. It looked interesting, but I just only assumed that only college people played that game. Now, mind you, I'm in college now, you know, I was afraid at the time, you know, that, you know, young people like me, I was like 10 at the time, young people don't play this, they would be playing some other type of game, like, you know, like Minesweeper or something like that, like, not Sims or anything, you know, it wasn't a year later, and mind you, at the time, I remember Sims and the Herbs, and I really wanted to get that one. You know, but I didn't, I didn't really know that much about The Sims. I didn't really know that much about computers or GameCube or Xbox or anything for that matter. I was just kind of oblivious to all of that. And this was way before YouTube ever came out. So I really didn't know anything about this. So I remember, what do I remember? I remember when Sims Herbs came out. And the whole crunk era came out with Ciara and all these people, they getting out and they crunking and everything. And I felt like they were inspired by that to do Sims and the Herbs. I don't think they even sell that, like, for PC. I don't know, but I remember my cousins had that. They had Hot Day and they had Sims Vacation, and I really liked those expansion packs. You know, but then I remember... Back then, they had SimCity, and I don't know if that's a part of the same company as the Sims. I mean, of course, their name SimCity and Sims, you know, maybe it's the same. But anyways, it just looked like engineers, like, pl engineers could play this game, or just people, just very smarter people can play this game. So, uh, that next year, I finally got the Sims for my birthday, and I was like, this was the best birthday present ever. It really was. So I got Sims Collection, complete collection of all the expansion packs that it has. Um, they have um, Sims Unleash, which is its predecessor to Sims 2 Pets, I guess. Um, Sims Vacation. I don't know. It, all of these could be predecessors to the Sims 2 expansion packs. Um, Sims 2 Vacation, Sims Party, Sims Live in Large. But Sims Live in Large kind of reminds me of House Party. I didn't understand what was the point of that. But um, then they had Sims Hot, Hot Date. Then they had Sims Superstar and Sims Making Magic. Now, Making Magic, out of all these expansion packs, was my favorite because it, I felt like it incorporated the whole inventory system into the Sims' lives. You know, where they can make a profit. This probably maybe inspired the creators to make Sims 2. Um, open for business, which I always wanted that game, but I never could have it, I didn't know, like, at, at Circuit City, they didn't really sell that, you know, this was way before Best Buy came into existence in Brooklyn, okay, so, then I got this for Christmas of that same year, 2005, and this was the holiday edition one, and I really like this one, it's like Sims 2, just with holiday stuff, that's what I compare it to. It's not like no expansion pack or anything, just the base game with holiday stuff in it. And I really like the graphics for this. I like the fact that, you know, they looked more human-like, I guess. Um, let me just show the difference. You know, you get more options in clothing and then 
you know, different designs for your houses and stuff like that. You know, I haven't played these two games in a while on my laptop. The last time I've played these games were like maybe 2007. And I was on my HP Pavilion, you know, and it worked on that perfectly well. You know, now my HP Pavilion is just... So it went kaput afterwards, but I tried installing Windows 10 to it. But eh, never mind, that's, that's another topic for another day. So, um... What else? Oh, these are the expansion packs. I don't know what, which order they come in. I mean, maybe it's apartment life, and then it's free time. Maybe it's free time, then apartment life. I don't know. Anyways, I got these two at the same time for Christmas. And during a time, well, the year before, I had um, GameCube. Right, I had GameCube, and I had Sims. Sims Pets. And I, I kind of like that game, but then at the same time, it was boring because it was on GameCube, and I don't know. It, to me, it just I didn't, it's it's different from playing it on PC. In my all the the games that I have right here now are on PC. You know, I only have two that's on different consoles, and that's like Wii and GameCube. And I'm thinking about selling my Wii. So if you're you if you out there want to buy a Wii that's less than a hundred dollars. You know, you could contact me in a private email, and we'll see what we can do about it. I still have all the pieces on my Wii. You know, I'll even run it again to see if it works, you know. And I could sell it to you if you want. <laughs> so that's my... I have to be a salesperson at this point now. <laughs> Anyways, um, I got Sims to Apartment Life. I like this one because I guess... This is like some real life stuff right here. You know, you have to, you know, live with other people, pay rent, you know, pay your bills. It's like kind of like life here, you know. I guess Sims is like life, the board game. But anyways, I like this game. And I like the fact that you had like the, the bed that, that, that was the one object in this game that I really liked the most. is the bed where you can open and close it. No other game has that, unless if they have it in The Sims 2 stuff, and I'm not too sure if they have that. Um, what else? And I like the fact that they had awnings in it. I don't know if y'all can see it. Gosh, the lighting sucks on this. I should have bought my cell phone up here. Anyways, um, so then it was free time. I got this. And I guess this focuses on the goal, as, you know, their aspirations in life, you know, opposed to their career choices. But maybe it, it can intertwine with their career choices and open for business. But I guess open for business was just focused on businesses, you know. This was focused on, you know, if you want to be a cook, you know, if you enjoy this and you enjoy that. So I remember this, you know. I mean, this is not as good as apartment life, though. I should have opened it to show you each disc to prove that, you know, I have each disc of it. It's not just some random thing I have. But I might install this on my computer. I might, but gosh, it's going to waste a lot of space in it. I don't know. I might, eventually one of these days, I would have to, like, you know, switch out Sims 2 and Sims 3. You know, for Sims. I guess there's like four discs in this one, and eight discs in the first one too. So then, in year 2009, I got Sims 3. And this, I guess, retail price, I got this from, I got this from, oh my god, I can't remember where is that. I think I got this from, I think 2000, no, not 2000. I got this from Best Buy. Yeah, this is the first ever thing that I got from Best Buy from Sims. And um, they sell it. They sell it for forty nine dollars. I can't remember. It's such a long time ago. But I I bought this and it felt like the price was reasonable. And I really liked the the trailers for it. I remember it. What really got me to buy this was the fact that it was an open world and you you can do so much things with it. You know. Okay. 
You can go to new locations without having to worry about getting in taxi. You can buy your car. You can customize your stuff. You can make it, you know, suit to way how you fit it. And I felt like, you know, that it kind of trumped over Sims 4. Now, Sims 4, I got this, I think, last weekend. Okay, I know this is a year old, and this came out in 2014. You know, I guess this is... Yeah. But I didn't understand, what was the point of even having an internet connection to even just activate this? For this, you don't need, for all the other sims, you don't need no internet connection just to even activate it. You know, that's the one thing I did not like about the sims 4. The building part of it, I really like. You, you can create your own rooms. You can, you can buy rooms. I was like, where do they do that out at? You know, Sims 3, you know, you just build your own house. It, it depends on what type of person you are. If you like building a more than, you know, if you like, wait, if you like building, I guess if you like building more, then I say this is for you. You know, but I felt like I was kind of disappointed with the looks of the Sims because they didn't really give them that much hairstyle choices, you know. Whereas in the other Sims, I felt like they gave them more, much more hairstyle choices with braids and conros and stuff like that. You know, like Sims 3 off of that. And yeah, I might do a review on both of these in another video. I can't really go into full depth of it because I just started playing this, you know. And I'm back to playing this again, so. Um, and I might do a gameplay show of it, I don't know. So I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>